What's up everyone? Welcome back, Patrick here. Moving on to another question dealing with multiplying polynomials. So what we have to do is we have to expand and simplify each of these over here. So notice that they're all products. So starting with part A, we got x plus six times x plus nine. So what we gotta do is we gotta make sure we multiply all the elements of this bracket with all the elements of this bracket. So we could start off with x times x, which would give us x squared. You can also rewrite these products. I've done that in videos before, but at this point, I'm assuming you're fairly comfortable with just looking at it and then writing out the value over here. But if you want to take an extra step and write out the actual multiplication, right? Write out x times x and then x times nine, et cetera, et cetera, and do it that way, add that extra step, please feel free to do so. I'm just gonna go straight into the products here. So x times x gives us x squared, and then we'll have x times nine, positive nine, which would give us nine x like that. Then we'll have six times x, which would give us six x. And then we'll have six times nine, which would give us 54, like that. And then from here, you wanna simplify all of the like terms. Notice the 9x and the 6x, those net out to 15x, and then we got a plus 54 at the end. So that ends up being the final answer for this product over here. Moving on to part B, you gotta be careful here because now we have some coefficients in front of the x's. We also have this negative over here. So just be careful with your signs. So let's go step by step. So we'll have 2x times 5x, which would give us 10x squared. Then we'll have 2x times negative 1. 2x times negative 1 would give us negative 2x like that. Then we'll have 3 times 5x, which would give us positive 15x. And then we'll have 3 times negative 1, which would give us negative 3 like that. And then from here, the like terms, negative 2x plus 15x, or it's like 15x minus 2x would give us positive 13x. So we'd end up with 10x squared plus 13x minus 3, like that. So that ends up being the product for this over here. Next one, x minus 7 times x plus 5. So again, we got a negative here, be careful with the signs. So let's go one by one. We'll have x times x, which gives us x squared. Then we'll have x times positive five, which would give us positive five x. Negative seven times x would give us minus seven x. Then negative seven times positive five would give us negative 35, like that. And then as usual, we can net out this, five x minus seven x would give us minus two x and then we got the minus 35, like that. Right, moving on to part D, we have 3m plus four times 3m minus four. This is actually gonna be a difference of squares, and this is something that we'll talk about more in future sections when we get into factoring and stuff, but basically a difference of squares is when you have the same uh, binomial in each bracket, but the only thing that's different is the sign in the middle. And the result, it's a pretty cool one. Watch what happens. So 3m times 3m would give us 9n squared. Then we'll have 3m times negative 4. 3m times negative 4 would give us minus 12m. And then 4 times 3m, positive 4 times 3m would give us positive 12m. And then we'll have 4 times negative 4, which would give us minus 16. And what happens here, here's the result of this difference of squares. We got this negative 12m plus 12m. And what do those net out to? Well, they just net out to zero, right? Minus 12 plus 12 would give us zero, and then zero m is just zero, right? So these actually net out and there's no middle term left. And so what we would end up with is just nine m squared minus 16. And the term difference of squares, it comes from this over here, 
because it's a difference of squares. Basically, what it means is we could take this, I'm kind of moving ahead here. If your teacher hasn't mentioned this, you could just maybe even ignore this part, but just in case you're interested, we could rewrite this as this, and we could rewrite the 16 as four to the power two. So it's a difference of squares, right? Because this term and this term can be squared, right? And then whenever you factor that, you'd end up with something where you have the same bracket, but just these signs end up being the opposite. Or if you start here, same brackets, opposite signs in the middle, that middle term, it's always going to cancel out. All right, so we end up with 9m squared minus 16 like that. Uh, and then part E, here you gotta be extra careful. Let's actually write this out because notice that in this case, we're dealing with multiple variables. We have an X and a Y. So for this one, let's actually write everything out. So we'll have X times X for this. Then we'll have X times negative two Y. So we'll have X times negative 2y, and then we'll have 6y times x for this, and then we'll have 6y times <coughs> negative 2y. So we'll have 6y times negative 2y, like that. And so from here, let's go through this step by step. x times x gives us x squared. Positive x times negative 2y would give us minus 2xy, like that. If we're combining letters, let's just put in alphabetical order, xy, like that. And then over here, we'll have 6y times x, which would give us 6xy. Right, you could also write 6yx if you want, but again, I'm just putting it in alphabetical order. And because we're multiplying it, it doesn't matter if we put yx or x, y, right? But we just keep it consistent because these end up being like terms. Okay, so whether it was, like if we have negative two x, y plus six y, x, these are still like terms over here, right? X, y, y, x, those are the same thing. But again, I just recommend putting everything in alphabetical order always if there's multiple variables in one term so you could recognize the like terms a lot easier. And then over here, 6y times negative 2y would give us minus 12y squared, right? 6 times negative 2 is negative 12, y times y is y squared like that. And then simplifying the like terms, this and this are like terms. So we'd have x squared, uh, negative 2 plus 6 gives us positive 4, xy, and then the minus 12y squared. And then the rest of these are not like terms. So that right there ends up being the product for part E right there. And then finally, part F. Let's erase all of this. Give ourselves some room. So here, let's just go straight into the products. We should be fairly comfortable at this point. So 3x times 2x gives us 6x squared. 3x times negative 5y, a positive times a negative would give us a negative, so we'll have minus 15xy, right? Be careful here. 3 times negative 5 is negative 15, and then we have an x and we have a y right there. So we combine those as x times y. And then 4y times 2x would give us positive 8xy putting it in alphabetical order, we're multiplying the x and the y again, and then we'll have 4y times minus 5y, which would give us minus 20y squared. Uh, give me a sec here, yeah, like that, right? Four times negative five is negative 20, y times y gives us the y squared. Then from here, these are like terms, Negative 15 plus eight would give us negative seven. And then we have xy minus 20y squared, like that. All right, and that's it for these questions. We're gonna go over a bunch more examples in the next couple of videos. But when you're just starting these out, 
I recommend drawing these lines out so you could actually see visually what you're multiplying and then just be really careful with the signs if there's like a mixture of positives and negatives and if there is a mixture of variables.